Today, friends, we are gonna quickly add text to a curved surface using our slicer. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is a fun little fish. When you squeeze the tail, the jaws open. I've got a full tutorial for how to make it. It starts with this template. Of course, you can find a link in the cards or the description. Now, of course, in Tinkercad, we could add text using the text tool, but it will not follow this path. Check this out though, if we export our project, so we have completed it. I'm gonna make an STL file. I'm gonna call them text magnet fish and let's hit save. Today friends, we're gonna work with Orca Slicer, but I do wanna let you know I've also used it with Bamboo Studio. Now, if you have not downloaded Orca Slicer, I wanna show you something super important. I'm gonna take you to the GitHub and we're skipping both of these. I'll show you why in just a second. When you get to the GitHub, of course, you've got the most recent. And if you scroll down, the only official platforms are orcaslicer.com without the dash. And of course, the discard listed above. Please be aware that orcaslicer.net, .co, and the one with the dash that's at the top of the Google are not official and may be malicious. And that's why we're gonna work from the GitHub. I will right click and open this in a new tab so you can see what the main site looks like. Of course, right at the top, there's your download now. If we do hit that download now, the latest release is 2.2. Of course, if we return to the GitHub and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can get the stable release or you can get the nightly build. Once again, when you click right here and scroll down, we are on version 2.3. Of course, you can go down and find it for Windows or whatever operating system you're using. So with that important info out of the way, we are gonna hit create brand new project. I am gonna be working instead of the Soval with my Sidewinder X4 Pro. I'm gonna use basic PLA 0.2 and let's find that file. There is my test magnet fish. Now real quickly before we get going, I do wanna let you know I've got two versions of this fish. I've got one that has a magnet in it and we use pause at layer. Of course, if you're interested in that project, I'll put it up here. I am skipping the magnets because I give these away as what I call Pisca prints. You can think of them kind of as 3D printed painted rocks. But of course, before I hide them, I like to brand them with text. So I'm gonna click on the shape. I'm gonna hit the T for text, which is embossed text. And let's put HL Mod Tech on this. H-L-M-O-D-T-E-C-H. Up to you if you want caps, not caps, you can pick any font on your system. I'm gonna use this UI black. It's nice and solid. I do need to make it tiny. Right now it's nine millimeters. I can't do that because this project was only eight. I'm gonna try five millimeters high. And then under advanced, I'm gonna use the surface. So the nice thing about this is now I can place this out on the front of the shape. If you accidentally click off your new text, don't forget you can switch to objects. Now I can grab that text and adjust it as well. If I switch to the move command, I can raise it up or down. We could type values. Of course, if we click back up here, we can adjust this however we want. Notice mine is gonna stick out one millimeter and of course I was using that surface. I'm gonna leave this like it is. All right, so I wanna have two of these. We're gonna right click and we're gonna click clone. Just a second copy. I'll move it over here to the side. I could, of course, put it anywhere. But on this second one, we're gonna go back into that text. Of course, I'm gonna hit the modify. And this time I'm going to do a cut. So it is gonna cut in one millimeter. If we click over here, bingo, it is cut in just that easily. Friends, I'm gonna slice that plate. Of course, the Sidewinder Pro does work via Wi-Fi using Clipper, so let's hit print and upload and print these. As you can see, they'll be done in about 30 minutes. Don't forget you can always switch to the device menu and monitor everything as it occurs. Real quickly, I have bounced to Bamboo Lab Studio, same project, already used the text to add this. Right now I'm gonna right click, clone it. Yes, one copy, bring this down in front and then let's modify this. So once again, I'm in the objects and I'm going to the text shape. I chose to make that the color white, but now instead I'm gonna right click and I'm going to change type to a negative part and tell it okay. Now, when I click on this and hit the T, I do wanna go down here to the embedded depth and I wanna sync it in one millimeter and press enter. 
Now that'll cut in. Once again, real quickly, I'll show you when we hit slice plate. We've got the text on the outside and the cutout HL Mod Tech. Now I would likely not do two color just because it adds so much time to the print. So I'm going to just quickly put that back to green as well. And 30 minutes later, we've got two awesome fish. Opening jaws and text added. Easy peasy. Of course, let me know in the comments which version you like better. As I conclude, friends, I do want to mention that these are all based on Prusa Slicer, so I think it works on that as well. I just have not worked with that, so if anybody would confirm it in the comments, that would be fantastic. Of course, friends, I do want to say thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Love how that group is growing. You can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.